Hey, this is Eric from Reg Fox, and in this video, I'm going to talk you through using marketing email automations inside of Reg Fox. Now, if you're not familiar with marketing email automations, they can come by different names, such as drip campaigns. They all kind of mean the same thing. Automated emails that will automatically get sent to attendees, uh, inviting them to register for your event, and when someone registers, they get removed from the remaining emails. And so, this allows you to set up up to five emails in a series, target past attendees, or you can even import a list, and those emails will get sent out with a tracking link inviting them to register for your event. When somebody registers, say after email number two or email number three, they are unenrolled from the remaining ones. And this is a tip and secret of expert event marketers is setting these things up. And so we've built this inside of RegFox. You don't need to use external tools. You don't need to set complicated integrations. It all happens inside RegFox and it's awesome. So let me walk you through exactly what you're gonna see when you uh, start to use these. We'll go through the setup. I'll build a marketing email automation campaign here and uh, we'll walk through it end to end. So let's get started. So to get started, you're gonna have to add automations into your RegFox account. You can see the pricing options there, uh, and that's going to allow you to set up all the email campaigns and blasts and set them on autopilot, and we'll track the revenue and the tracking all for you. So you're gonna set that up uh, in this next step. And if you don't have a card on file, it'll ask you to put a card on file, but I have one, and I'll show you how this works from start to finish. So first thing, we'll hit start using automations, and we will give it a name. All right, so I have my automation name here, and then we're gonna decide who we're gonna send it to. And so the first option here is past registrants inside the system, and so you can view here and you can see a list of past events. You also can mainly import email addresses, maybe from QuickBooks or Constant Contact or MailChimp or any other source you've got customer emails, you can paste those right in here. I'll choose past registrants and I will choose from our last event here. And then we're gonna set a goal to track. We want to track registrations to another event registration page. So I'll choose track registrations, and then I'm going to choose a target page, and I'll do my first RegFox page there. And we will create automation. All right, so we have a summary here of my automation. I only have two recipients here, as this is just a small test. Uh, but now I'm going to start building my emails. And so I'm gonna build a series of emails that will go out, they'll be scheduled. And after I create each email, we'll have a subject line and a body. You'll set a delay between each one of them. And so you can decide how much time between the first and second and third and fourth emails do you want uh, to invite people in. So we're gonna create our first email now. All right, we have our first email crafted here. Let me take you through the settings in here. The first is the reference name. So as you wanna reference the performance of a given email, this will give you a reference name for it. We have our subject line, we've got our from, our uh, reply to email. We have our page link that we're gonna be tracking. So you wanna copy this. And then what you wanna do is inside the copy of your email, we also want to give links to that. So let's add that in there. And so you can paste that link anywhere else throughout the body, but we just recommend you include it a number of times, including the your really clear call to action, the register here link. But here's my joke event. We got Michael Scott, the keynote speaker. We got Dwight Schrute beating the competition and Stanley Hudson, of course. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna hit review email and I can see a summary of my email and it looks good and we're gonna hit save. And just like that, we have our first email lined up here and we can add a second one on here. If I wanna modify it, I can go over here, I can hit edit, I can hit view and I'll see a summary of it. Um, so you've got some options there. Uh, we also can send a test and I can put my email address in here and this will send a test into my inbox. I can preview it on desktop, on mobile and so forth. So that is there. And if I don't like it, I also can delete it. But let's go ahead and add a second email. And here I'm gonna fill in the information again. And sometimes a second email might include a promo, might include a, hey, did you get it? So I'm gonna fill this out now. All right, we got our second email all lined up here. I've got my reference name, I've got my subject line that's promoting early bird discount, my from, and again, our page link, we like to copy that and we want to link uh, those links into the words in the copy. So whether it's here, where it's promoting the early bird discount with Shroot, uh, and again, we do another summary digest of the event uh, and then a register here link there as well. And then at the bottom of the emails that go after the first one, the second, third, fourth, and fifth, you will have a couple options here and which allows you to set a delay. So we might wanna say 
send this email three days after the previous email in the series. And we want to send it at, let's go 8.20 in the morning. And so we'll hit review email. And so we can summarize this. We can look at all the details and go save. Awesome, so we see email number two in there. Let's go ahead and add a third one. All right, we got our third email lined up. And this one, we're going to announce a surprise new speaker, Tony Flenderson. He's gonna do a keynote on building amazing company culture. Again, we have our email body here. We're gonna bold and highlight some things. Again, grab our page link and build it throughout the page. Uh, also, Toby's going to discuss the infamous Scranton Strangler with a Q&A session, so we're really hyped about that. Uh, we're gonna go down the bottom and we'll say, we wanna send this one two days after the previous one, and we want this one to go, let's try in the afternoon at 1.30 p.m. Review email, this looks good, and we will save the email. All right, so we got our third email in there, and so we see the summary. Look over here on the right side, we can see a delay between each of the emails. See the first one, wait three days, then wait another two days, and so you can see the sequence and delays here, but also check this out now, is that in the columns here, as these emails generate and get sent out, we will track the recipients, the clicks, the registrations, and the sales, which is pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and add a fourth email. All right, we got the fourth email set up here, and this is going to be a flash sale that ends at midnight, and it's in honor of Michael Scott's hit film, Threat Level Midnight, so be sure to use the promo code SCARN to get 30% off up until midnight tonight. So that's the kind of urgency you want in these kinds of emails. And again, copy the link and build the links throughout the, the body of the email here. And then we're going to scroll down and we are going to choose to send this, let's go five days later and let's send this at 7.40 a.m. We'll review the email and this looks good and we will save. All right, so my fourth email is all set. I'm gonna review my emails here. I can send tests of any of these as I want and make sure they're all set. I could add a fifth email. Potentially, it's really up to you. We recommend between three and five emails in any given marketing email sequence. And there's a lot of tips and tricks for how to send effective email marketing. So do some research on that. Uh, but this is how you can set it up inside RegFox. When I am ready to go and I want to set it live, I just go up here and I hit publish and it's going to ask, when do I want to send this? And so I can choose to send immediately, I can choose to schedule it, and I can choose a date and a time in the future, and that will build then all of the delays from then on for the rest of my emails. So I'll choose send immediately, and I will hit publish. And so now, my email is ready to go. The first one is scheduled, it's gonna be sending out here any minute, and that will then set the rest of my delays in here and send them out. Now, once you set an automation live, you can still make changes. You can't make changes to an email that just got sent, but you can make changes for emails that are waiting to be sent. So I could go into here and I can make modifications to the email copy. I can change the delays and the times. And so I can manually change any of those emails that are waiting to be sent. Uh, and I also can stop the automation. Maybe I made a mistake or I want to pause it after the third email. You can always go up here and stop the automation and any remaining emails will be paused uh, from sending. Uh, what's a nice thing about here too in, in email automations is that as your attendees respond to these emails, and let's say someone registered after the second email, they will not get the third and fourth email. Our system will prune them from the remaining emails in the sequence, so it's really powerful. You can set up all these messages and know that it's gonna to go to the right people at the right time. Also, we're gonna show you the registrations and also the sales. This is so huge to have the sales reporting built into your event platform. This would normally take a lot of different tools and integrations to accomplish, so we bring it right in here for you to track the performance of not only your email strategy, but a given email and how well it performs. So really powerful there. So that concludes the demo of our email automations inside RegFox. It is live, ready for you to use in your account. We hope it's gonna transform your sales. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to reach out to us with any suggestions, comments, and uh, thanks for watching this and we'll catch you on the next demo.